Hey guys, Donna Avery with Visual Testaments here. Wanted to share a word with you on the word for the year. Seen it so many times right now going around, especially since we're in early February and a lot of people um, have been talking about their word with the new year of 2020 in full effect going into a new decade. And I wanted to share with you guys um, that we have been getting words, um, well, since we've been intentional about asking the Lord for a word, um, been about 12, 13 years now. So if you're following us on social media, which comments, um, which is in the description below, then you'll be able to see the different words that he's given us year after year. And I'm telling you what, he is so faithful. So if you ask him, you'll receive one. I typically get ours around October, November. Um, be, and I've noticed obviously with the, the Jewish calendar that that's where he must be coming from because as soon as, um, October, November hits by December. Um, I've had one year where it was kind of nail biting. I'm like, is, are you going to give me my word? Um, but he is faithful. So this year it was the year of progress. So let me just tell you, recently I flew out to, um, Bethel in Redding, California, and I have been there several times before, but this time we went for the healing and impartation with Randy Clark. Tell you what, that school was amazing. I highly recommend it. If you guys haven't gone, sign up. Um, I definitely learned so much from it, and the impartation is one of those things where you feel the impact um, long after. So the anointing's there, just, just trust and, and get there. It's important. I went there, and while I'm there, there was an intern that came and wanted to pray over me. And I thought it was pretty powerful to um, see so many of their interns um, absolutely walking in what they were called to do, which was, you know, the prophetic or prayer. Or And so they came to, they came to me, um, her and her friend, and she wanted to pray over me. And she said, you know what, I'm getting a word, and it's so funny, I see a slinky. And she goes, and I don't know what that's about. And immediately, I felt like the Lord showed me. He he, he was like, you know what it's about, but don't. I said, well, I'm going to tell her. He said, don't tell her. I'm going to speak it through her so you can know that it's confirmation. Because I had been asking him and seeing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four on the clock. So if you're, if you get a lot of, um, numerology and you're like, wow, you know, of course we don't exalt any of these miracles and things that he does above, uh, Jesus himself, but as a blessing, he talks to us and he shows us that he does. And so the father was pointing out one, two, three, four over and over and over October, November. And he was showing me that your this is the year of progress for you. And so she, said slinky she felt you could tell she was like um you know I know this might sound off but I see a slinky I see you going like slinking down the steps and up the steps and I see a slinky moving and so I knew right off what it was and the Lord said don't tell her I'm gonna tell her and then she's gonna tell you and so sure enough she told me she said oh okay he's telling me it's progress and I just don't you just love the Lord? I tell you what, it's just amazing to see how he uses his kids um, to just give them confidence in the fact that I am speaking to you. You are hearing from me because I never told her, the Lord told her. And um, where do you get, you know, what kind of courage does it take to see a slinky and tell somebody that I see a slinky and that's got something to do with your life and I know it's going to be great. <laughs> so um, that was huge for me. That was confirmation. And so pivotal, actually, in the, the whole trip. So I wanted to share that with you guys because on top of that, leading up to even the purchase, um, even the purchase of the tickets where you're like, okay, do you want me to be there? And it was like at 1234, I'd see <laughs> at noon, you know, I'd see um, 1234 and I just felt like he was confirming to me progress. You're making progress. You know, this is the year of progress. I want uh, progress, not perfection. And, um, I would get emails like even yesterday, I got an email that said, um, congratulations, you 
are, you have made it this far. It was an email from, you know, just a company. And it was like, if you want to see your progress, and progress was the only word in blue. And you, obviously, you could click on it and see your progress. But I thought that was just, it's just like the Lord to constantly keep the word in front of you of what he has for you and your promise for the year. And that it's, it's good. You don't have to go, you don't have to feel like you have to give him perfection. He just, he just, he wants you to know that he's got progress in mind for you and it's planned for you and you're doing well. So I thought it was interesting that leading up to, he kept showing me even one, two, three, four and giving me progress words and confirmation. And then when I got there and I, I got, well, when I purchased my ticket and the airline sent me back my confirmation, the flight back from uh, Reading to South Carolina, guess what time it was? Yes. I get on the plane at one, two, three, four. So I thought that was so awesome. So comment below. I want to hear from you guys. What was your word for this year? What's, um, you know, did you get a word last year? What was your word last year? And did you see so many signs of that come to pass? Um, what was pivotal for you about getting those words? And what, I know you just love it. It's just so encouraging. So love you guys. Hope that helps and can't wait to hear what your words are for this year.